You know, getting sick with COVID-19, folks, it's going to get a lot more expensive for a lot of us as most of the major health insurers are tweaking their rules. PCS Advisors Managing Partner Paul Siegert is a benefits expert, and he tells KRLD's Chris Summer that people will soon have to pay some more out-of-pocket dollars for testing and for the treatments that are involved. Well, it's a really interesting story. The insurers voluntarily uh, decided to waive out-of-pocket costs for uh, COVID treatments, uh, especially those that got hospitalized for COVID. The reasoning behind that is the interesting part, I think. They did it voluntarily for a couple of reasons. One was that they we're facing the likelihood that it would be required of them by the government. And so they preempted that and uh, did it themselves, which then meant they could avoid, if they decided when to do it, they could decide when to stop doing it. And then the other reason for it was that they are governed by the medical loss ratio rules that came in with the Affordable Care Act that says they have to spend 85 cents for every dollar they collect in premium on a claim and they get to keep 15 cents. And with the lockdowns that we were all subject to with COVID, people were not using their insurance. They weren't seeking care. Claims were down about 70%. So insurers were faced by and large with two choices, uh, give big fat refund checks or figure out other ways to spend this money. So it was a pretty uh, sensible decision on their part. It was why not uh, do something, get some marketing out of this, and do something good as opposed to uh, just have to refund the dollars anyway. So now things are changing in many cases. How so? So the changes that we're seeing now is that claims levels have returned to more normal levels. So insurers don't don't have this excess cash piling up. So they don't have the the same problem they had before, and as a result, they are sunsetting these policies of waiving out-of-pocket costs for COVID treatments and COVID hospitalizations. So now, the way that that will affect the consumer is that they will be subject to their deductibles, their co-insurance, their max out-of-pockets uh, that are built into their health plans, whereas they were not before, and today, you know, that's very possibly these Affordable Care Act plan designs that so many consumers deal with have a pretty significant out-of-pocket risk. Each year that out-of-pocket max goes up. I think the max now this year is up over $8,000 for an individual. So it does represent for many Americans a pretty significant expense if they find themselves in that position. What is the best course of action? Should we call our insurance company so we know what the latest rules are? What do you recommend? Yeah, most of them are not going to be waiving it anymore. I think we're down to a, a small double-digit percentage that are still waiving this cost. But you can reach out to your insurer. You can go on your online portal and get that answer. And then if you do find yourself in a position where this happens, uh, you do actually have options. You don't just have to pay that first bill that shows up. You can reach out to the facility and ask them about any financial assistance programs that they may have because they do exist. And oftentimes, uh, even though that first bill might have a really big number on it, with some, uh, with some conversations with that provider, you can find that there are some other options to get that reduced. And that is benefits expert Paul Siegert at PCS Advisors.